and it is happening, my friends. I know you've been waiting a while. Oh, come on. This is the busiest boat in the entire Palm Beach show. You, you ladies know that, right? We oh, do. Yeah. Wait less. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we're getting on there right now. Enjoy. Enjoy. 95 Princess X95, guys. Welcome aboard. You are amazing. <laughs> I don't even know how you do what you do. So, um, how do we get in? Right through the stuff. Enjoy. Wow. Hello. 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 Welcome aboard the Princess X95 Superfly. This. Craig. Great to have you guys. This is absolutely stunning. This does not look like a traditional yacht. It does not. So Andrea, I want you to meet my subscribers. Andrea, this Hello, is... Hello subscribers. These are my millions of subscribers. Uh, not millions, but a million, um, a million people I'm hoping are gonna watch this video because this boat has been absolutely full all day at the Palm Beach Boat Show. Uh, that's right, Alfred. Um, it's one of the boats that's taken uh, center stage here at the show, um, visited by much press these days and customers alike. Um, you're standing in a brand new 2021 global debuting boat here. Um, it's a boat that's been proven to be definitely one of a kind. And as you walk through the boat, you'll see uh, a lot of features that uh, uncanny to any other boats uh, in the in the market out there. So they were telling me, I was asking a lot of people that were coming in here and the word that I was hearing everywhere was the sheer volume, volume, volume of that yacht is amazing. So I want to get a full thorough walkthrough for maybe somebody who's interested in a 95 but they were telling me that this 95 would be kind of like equivalent to like a 100 over maybe? Uh, absolutely, Alfred. So as we walk around, you'll see that the X95 has about 40% more internal volume um, than uh, the biggest boat Princess ever built, which was a 35 meter, 40 meter as well. So in a 95 foot yacht right now, um, you're actually feeling of the interior space is that about uh, of a 40 meter uh, so if you walk around you'll see our uh, big windows all around you have 270 degrees of view um, of visibility all around the boat specifically here in the salon um, and as you walk through obviously no two x95s are alike so anything you see on this particular boat can change um, as the customer wants. Uh, for example, we have a bar here, we have a nice seating area. All of these layouts can very much change uh, according to those clients and customers and owners' needs and wants. It's also, you know, a very comfortable boat uh, designed for really long-term cruising. So let's talk about the design, right? So this doesn't look or doesn't feel like a traditional yacht, guys. At least not to me. I kind of feel, it almost feels for such a big yacht, it feels kind of sporty in, in a weird way. Is this like a purposely designed project to look that way or feel that way? That's right. Um, Princess Yachts teamed up with the Benin Farina house of designers, okay. um, along with Olazinski Design, who is the house that designs our holes. So we've been working with them for a very long time. So if you see the Princess line uh, and all the uh, classes of boats are designed by Olazinski. Um, so Princess Design Studio, along with Olazinski and Benin Farina Design, which as you may know, um, is for, uh, they come from the automotive industry, so oh. you would see a lot of elements uh, in here that remind you of that. Specifically, all the nice curvatures and lines. If you see along the, uh, around the boat, nothing is really um, straight cuts as you would see in, in, in other yachts. 
I, this uh, this does not feel like a 95 foot traditional yacht. No, and as we walk through, we're stepping into the master the master cabin. So you will see a large amount of space here and maximization um, and usage of that space. So we have a full beam master here is what we call, again, surrounded by windows and uh, full visibility all around. One thing to point out is our chairman, uh, Mr. Anthony Sheriff, does come uh, from the automotive industry as he worked in the past with um, McLaren. So a lot of the challenges uh, that he throws out of the design team, um, there's there's a brain behind all of that. It's, it's, ma it's, it make, out. it's making sense. Yeah, yeah, you it's, pointed out, you see, it reminds you of uh, automotive, so you'll see a little bit of uh, that, those elements around. So this has all this visibility. It feels like, I mean, it's later in the day right now. We've been trying to get this video done. It's been absolutely busy. And how many rooms are we gonna walk? Cause you, you're like, are we gonna walk this entire boat? Uh, yes, that's why <laughs> This I is the 20th <laughs> time that you've probably said the same thing, guys, but we're gonna go ahead and do this final video so you guys can watch this video and then come and see everything for yourself in person. Absolutely. The X95 has five staterooms. Okay. Um, so it accommodates 10 people comfortably uh, to sleep 10 people. Um, you have a space of crew for three people. Um, but again, uh, those uh, those are items that could be customized as well. Maybe you, you want to have, have extra kids and you want to add additional beds. All of that can be done as we're very flexible uh, on this type of model. If we follow through, you'll see one of this one of the most beautiful en suites we've built. Um, you know, it's less clunky than your traditional yachts. Uh, you'll see that the whole vanity looks like it's floating. Um, so there's a lot of elements uh, on the boat that it's just the attention to detail uh, to every uh, to everything on the boat is very thorough and thought out. My, my camera is confused. It's it's literally confused. So that that's a sexy shower. You can shower just you know if you're on out in the open sea. Imagine having a shower and just seeing water next to you. That is really really nice. And I see that you have a nice towel rack here. Uh, you have a closed off section here for the head. Yep. Big old bathrooms. Yep. Your Complete. floors are heated. You have a towel heater. You have a all the amenities you would find in a luxury hotel or boutique hotel. So this would be the master? This is the master cabin. Okay. Um, you might wonder where is your TV? Your TV comes out of this little space right here. So makes it a lot more minimal when everything's kind of put away. The design on this boat is superb. My wife is an interior designer. She would have a field day here. She is going to say, I want to walk this video. <laughs> I want to walk this place, guys. This is very, very nice. Very elegant. It's got that sexy, fast, less is more. Everything ties in really, really good. Right. And a lot of things are hidden from plain sight. If you walk in here, you're visiting the galley. Um, this particular design has an enclosed galley, uh, but this is where that food magic action happens. A big fridge and freezer right there and tons of storage all around. You'll see that there are wolf appliances, so it's kind of top of the line across the board here uh, as far as uh, all the elements that go into this boat. I love the fact that you guys concentrate on getting natural light into the into all the spaces. Because I walked the 78 and I was so impressed with the 78 um, as well because I was like, wow, look, there's light everywhere. Is this is this just a... That's just a day head. So whenever you're entertaining up here, you have your guests. Uh, Let me show nice that. little day head right there. And there's a small toilet back here. Let me see if I can. More, more light, guys. Look at that. 
All right, so now people are coming in, everybody greets everybody. You see somebody cooking, getting everything ready. Yep. Where are we going now? We are heading downstairs to our guest cabins. Beautiful Berber carpet, I like it. It feels really, really soft on your feet. Yeah, absolutely, it's all wool. Um, and if you pan around, you'll see the nice little details all across the board. There's not one thing that has not been carefully and methodically thought out on the X95. In our lower accommodations, you have uh, two VIP areas, two VIP cabins that sleep two each, and then you have your two single cabins that kind of mirror each other, so exactly the same. Do you? And this has its own separate head as well. Yes. Also very, very nice. The shower as well. Alfred, as you can see, I mean, I'm a short girl, but you're a taller guy. And there's plenty of space for you right above your head oh. and uh, lengthwise. So there's, there's a lot of space that we're playing with here in just 95 feet. 95 Prosper feet, guys. Yeah, across from here, you have the same kind of mirrored cabin effect there. Uh, so essentially, it's the same cabin with its own little head as well. I see you have the little lights here, so everybody can go ahead and have like a little night light exactly. at night. And you know, if you have more people you want to accommodate, you can also maybe have an extra bed up here that pulls out. So there's several options, options that you can play with, definitely. I really, really like the finish and the design of this boat. You know, Alfred, at Princess, uh, we make everything. So every time you step on a Princess, 80% of the boat is made in-house uh, in our home in Plymouth, England. Um, so everything question. from the woods, uh, the fixtures, uh, everything uh the beds the couches some of the uh, lamps um, we build a lot of furniture in plymouth um, our suppliers for example our wood suppliers um, they go out to the mills and actually carefully pick out specific woods just for princess wow. so if you see across the the boat itself you know everything matches the wood grain so if you see a piece of wood it seamlessly goes through um, throughout the boat so it just does you don't see any break so again it's just carefully thought through and for example you see the grain down here and it just follows through without throughout so what would this room be considered Andrea? so this could technically be a second master bedroom um, it's your uh, aft VIP but again because it's full beam you have tons of space in here so if you can't don't want to accommodate yourself in the main master you also have this I, to I think with. I'd pick this master wow this is really, really I mean imagine nice. Alfred laying in bed and the boat's going 20 something knots and you have water wishing past you um, as you're laying in bed watching TV enjoying a movie having dinner having a coffee um, so this imagine is that I mean, this is a great place to wake up and have your morning coffee. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this. And those those windows, and I see that there's actually windows within the window, so you can get air ventilation if you want. Yeah, your portholes are right there. So if you're anchored out to sea and you know you want some of that sea breeze, you can pop those open and, and enjoy some of that. Through here, we have full walk-in closet. I mean, how many boats can you say that you have uh, walk-in closets? Again, it's the it's designed for extended cruising and comfortability. Well, not just that you have a walk-in closet. You have a walk-in closet on a 95-foot yacht. Mm -hmm. So that that's, I guess, the big thing that people are going to be really saying, hey, you know, I have a right. bigger boat that doesn't have as much stuff or space right. or accommodations as this 95 Princess. Exactly. So again, maximization of space um, all through the vessel. And this is one of your bathrooms this here? This is another ensuite, um, very similar to the other master, you know, complete with heated floors, separate toilet area, 
and your shower that would be on the right again with a nice nice beautiful window so you could be showering while you're you know out to sea and, and, and have Hi. a nice little space for that I am very, very impressed. Now I understand why everybody were, was coming out while I was sitting outside waiting and said, <laughs> and people were like, you are going to be blown away. Absolutely. We're here in the forward VIP cabin now. Um, there's a couple of uh, options that have been uh, made on other hulls mm -hmm. uh, on this particular model. I understand hull number one, the first X95 that was built, um, they made this into an actual fitness room. So that particular owner had um, has a treadmill and some weights and Peloton. So you can, you can just, again, it's a testament to um, whatever you want, whatever the customer wants. That is incredible. We have a head right there as well. So you guys maximize every ounce of space. Right. I mean, look at the angles and the and and how everything is utilized to get what you're used to, right? You want a separate shower. This is well, well right, designed. So you see the actual design of the hole right there to your left. Um, we play with absolutely every single inch of this boat. And more, more visibility in here as well, mm -hmm. going forward. Now, is there storage or anything under these beds? You have storage right under the bed. You have storage on port and starboard sides. If you lift these up. And you also have um, more storage in these areas as well. Mm -hmm. All little pockets uh, that you can play with and store. So are these all the sleeping areas? Are we done with sleeping areas or are there more we hidden? <laughs> Because <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm going to be full of surprises when we I'm are done with the actual owner and guest accommodations. The okay. remaining sleeping areas are for the crew, so which we would visit possibly at the end of your video. Okay, so let's continue walking. Let's head up to my favorite part of the boat itself. All right, guys. So you've got. So this is the We're actual. To the Sky Lounge now. All right, guys, look at the details on this. Wow, this is. It's hard. It's hard to translate, guys. It is so hard to translate. So we are immediately greeted by another area that we can use once you're up here. So every every floor has its own designated bathroom. That way, wherever your guests are or the owner is, has all the amenities necessary to uh, accommodate accommodate everyone. You know what's crazy, Andra? I would say a good portion of people's time is going to be up here while they're just going to where they're going. Definitely. And it looks like such a cool, comfortable spot. Definitely. Again, you have these big panoramic windows all around, uh, 270 degrees of view uh, around you. I mean, you can't complain over here with this Palm Beach uh, show. Oh, there's there's a jacuzzi up there. Yes, oh. I, didn't, I didn't want you, you to miss that You were supposed to surprise uh, me. I know, but what? we're already here. Uh, this is our cockpit area, so where engineer and captain will spend most of the time. As you can see, you have state-of-the-art uh, navigation equipment here. So you guys can essentially operate the, the vessel in multiple areas with different electronics if you wanted to, Andrea? Uh, yes, so this is your main, main helm station. Okay. Um, I will point out we have a separate kind of joystick maneuver, maneuver system uh, on port and starboard side. So if you're outside um, on the flybridge, you can actually maneuver the boat uh, without being in the cockpit. The, the upholstery is Flawless, I love it. It's Again, it's very reminiscent of uh, anything you would see on uh, a McLaren, a McLaren <laughs> or a very high-end um, car. I don't want to use that name because we don't know what's going on over there with one of the. What is he? A chairman in, in the. He's in, a chairman of the board. Of he's he's a chairman of the board. Which so, also sits on the board of Aston Martin. Oh, okay. So. 
So I'm sure there's a lot of conversations behind scenes and sketches and say, hey, what do you think about this? And uh, those conversations will be great for Alfred Montaner to have. Maybe having a couple of these right here, guys. What do you guys think? <laughs> Whiskey for later. A little whiskey for later. So you have a TV area over here. Yeah. I love this detail here. Beautiful skylight here. Um, if it becomes too sunny at some point, uh, this is a shaded. Uh, we have a shaded option here. It's kind of half closed, half open, so you can see um, when you get the idea of having it completely open. It's got a big old TV here as well. It's. It's a big TV, guys. Yeah. And that air conditioning right now in this 85 degree Palm Beach weather is it's beautiful. It's blasting. And let's step out to the actual extended flight here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alfred, we're standing up here on the flybridge. Uh, as you can see, very reminiscent of a much larger yacht. Uh, you will see that you're standing, standing in the complete top deck, which extends the full length of the boat. So that's not seen um, in smaller in smaller uh, sized boats. This is something you would see in a hundred plus uh, foot boats. I take back what I was saying about the people hanging out. They're gonna be coming over here now. Definitely. So you, ha you have the feeling of like that aircraft carrier type um, sensation because just the sheer amount of uh, usage of space. So you ha I see you have a lot of storage here on the sides. So the the these are kind of like uh, storage for what? You have a lot of storage, but also there is there are functional spaces. Oh. So you have uh, ice maker, you have fridges, you have a grill over there, you have. Um, refrigeration so you open this up and you have re uh, refrigeration in there so you know you have a complete area that could be supplied uh, with everything you need to entertain up here I see we also have a nice little sunshade over here that comes in yeah, and out complete electric canopy so when the sun hits really hard you can have a lot of uh, reprieve from the sun and we're walking on pure teak floor that's right, Alfred. Um, everything you see here is cheek. The tables and even this beautiful uh, lounge chairs. I think right now, here they're going to get the perspective of how big this is right yep. now. And, and the fact that it goes all the way forward to the bow of the boat is, is, is pretty unique on, right. on, on a 95 foot boat. Now I get the whole volume concept that people were talking about while I was asking about the boat. I didn't even watch any videos or anything about this boat because I wanted to absorb it as my my subscribers are absorbing it. Right. So you're getting firsthand the experience of somebody that just walks on board and says, wow. Um, yeah, this is the wow. This is the wow moment. The whole setting that you see here can obviously be designed completely different. Um, again, according to that owner's needs and wants. Well, they opted for some furniture. Um, I've seen other layouts with more furniture. You can have a davit up here, some cranes. Maybe you can have your tender, um, tender up here. So uh, th I know there's a boat, uh, another X95 that opted to have an outdoor cinema here. Okay. So that was kind of cool. Nice. Well, let's go forward, guys. Yeah. Um, you can see that these are. Um, wide side decks uh, usually on boats uh, this size you have a little bit more of a constrained feeling um, also very high high ratings i see that for for young kids for safety and little kids yeah which which i did see a couple of them running around here mm -hmm. and this is the view that i did not expect yes alfred indeed um for this boat was designed with a hot tub up in the bow uh, it's not standard, so you can opt for a different layout here as well. You can have it up. You can have a hot tub or not. So that's a, that's a that's a heated hot tub. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. One hundred percent. Heated bubbles, waterfall, the work. You know, you know, you know. I'm gonna sell maybe at least ten of these. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> you know what it is? So many people have been scared to travel. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because I saw how many people 
wanted to get in here and uh, regrettably because you guys were running things through appointments there's only so many people that can come on the boat per day definitely and our appointment book is fully fully booked um, if you take a look around behind you i want to point out these amazing explorer like looking windows um, which just make the boat look a little bit cooler so if you are familiar with the explorer type vessels Kind of reminiscent of that. I do like that. It makes me feel yeah. like uh, we, we want to go on 15 footers and just explore <laughs> on a 95X. Let me know. I got I got something I have in mind. Uh, I know this is going to go to a customer, but I'm going with a couple of friends to Jamaica, and uh, we can talk about that later uh, after this video. But <laughs> this is absolutely. Look at the cup holders. You got more storage space here. Alfred, if we also take a look behind you and you take those steps down, you will see that little boat. So again, maximization of space on all across the board. Um, you know, and the other boat can you sit on the bow and enjoy a cool glass of uh, champagne or some coffee in the morning. And going back, and this open air right here, so you can sit down and there's the master. Yeah. One of the masters, one of the many masters. The main master. The main master, but I would arguably say I'd probably one of the one in the rear. Ah, okay, okay. That's just me. Um, so tell me a little bit what's going on here. So we have, are this these- This is your anchor system. Oh, so oh. this is um, just your complete anchor system and your cleats and everything you need to dock the boat um, from and the bow. I, and I see that we have more storage space down here as well. That's right. Wow, this place is, is, is full of surprises. Anything going on over here on this side other than me standing? The Titanic view? I think this is where the Titanic view is happening, guys. Maybe you can go ahead and fly your flag right here. That's, that's right. Wow, what an amazing, amazing uh, vessel, guys. Let's head on this way for the more technical aspect. Uh, All right. I'm blown away by this, guys. Absolutely crazy. So when you say technical, Andrea, what do you mean by technical? Are you well, going to surprise me with something else again? We have an access to the engine room right this way. Okay. Which I'm sure a lot of people are going to ask that question. This is like James Bond stuff, you know this, right? Absolutely crazy. Wait a second. So tell me what's going on here. Alfred, you're standing in the engine room. Um, as you can see here, the behemoth uh, of engines. This boat is equipped with twin MAN um, V12 engines and carry 1900 horsepower. I see your whole water system, everything yeah. here, your your generator. Generator, uh, water filtration system, uh, side power valve thrusters, uh, all the engineering aspects of this boat are contained in this one tiny room. And we can just walk in here and see, you see my subscribers love all of this. Absolutely. That's why I wanted to bring you in here. Oh man, they're going to have a field day. And, and as you can see, it's a pristine area. 
and it looks like you have storage areas for, for tools and And it's not too hot down here. I mean, the engines haven't been on. <laughs> well, I mean, but I, I'm sure at some point you got to get in here. Uh, and I do see some fans and some ventilation Absolutely. that are filling in here. So. I mean, this is top of the line stuff. Um, moving out of the engine room, you will find our uh, crew accommodations. So right here we have uh, double bunk beds for two crew members to fit there comfortably. We have some storage space. We have their lavatory here. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you took me full, full circle. Is there people behind me? Are we in the back of the boat? We are in the back look, of the boat. Look at that. And, <laughs> and now you're going to go ahead and freak me out with that swim platform. Uh, in a second, before I will show you the uh, captain or another crew member's accommodations here. Uh, together with its own private little head. Great, look at the size on this. <laughs> wow, guys. And this is the captain's space. You, you know, <laughs> the captain's space is like probably the best center consoles. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than a lot, a lot of center consoles. Yeah, yeah. Um, so back here guys so who would utilize this space is this a part of the cruise space here or are so we we came <laughs> in through the side decks okay. which gave us access to the crew area okay however this is the back uh the aft beach club essentially so if you this is to use by the guests and the crew members alike i mean that access behind you is also uh, another access to the crew area uh, through the back of the boat i can see margaritas being mixed oh, back here and it. and good times uh, a lot of drinks back here i see a sea bob which is an underwater scooter over here if you want to just go ahead and start exploring absolutely. which which is a must on a boat like this uh, this yacht is absolutely stunning. So tell me about this extended um, platform so that we have here. This platform right here, uh, fun fact, it weighs about uh, two tons, uh, just the platform alone. So you will, if you pan over it, you'll see that looks like uh, you have some steps and it has this little accordion-like uh, look to it. Okay. Uh, as it's not active right now, but the whole platform will submerge underwater and then you can walk into the water as these go down as you are stepping in. So this is going to be, this will come completely down. Yes. You're on the water yep. and uh, then you hear Whoa, all that crazy stuff and then you just that. have the best time in the all world. All of that. I mean, somebody could be serving Jamaica, your, here we go. <laughs> somebody could be serving your drinks back there or entertaining. Um, as you can see, you have a shower right there so you can shower off the salt water uh, before actually going uh, on the boat itself. So I'm assuming also if you wanted to, you can go ahead and launch a tender from back here as well. That's right. So because it's completely me, completely submersible, okay. um, right Easy. now it's not equipped for that, but you would have cleats and your, uh, I'm sorry, your um, tender uh, platform uh, that holds your tender and submerges it. All right. All right, so what are we looking at as fuel? How much fuel can this hold? For instance, and the range, what, what is somebody gonna fuel up here with this? How, right. how so much this range? Boat, this boat holds about 3,500 gallons of fuel. And you're talking about a good range, which I think we can put that in the description below. Just, yes, we'll just put to that be in accurate, the description because there's below a lot of before I throw a number out there and I'll get hung for not saying <laughs> the, the right number. I'm floating in the middle of who knows where because of my <laughs> exactly, exactly. So I'll give you all the information uh, below so, this video. So are you hiding any hidden spots from us, or are we concluded? Uh, Unfortunately, we've concluded the tour. You've seen. Uh, the 95 uh, x95 superfly uh debuting here at the palm beach boat show uh 
like I said, it's center stage at the show, and it's, it's, had it's a absolutely lot of amazing. Traffic. It's 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 the hit of the show, and this is why we stuck around as long as we did to show you this uh, particular yacht. Now let's talk about what a lot of people when they call you to buy this because they're going to buy this because of this video they're going to ask you andrea how can i get in contact with you um where and how much uh and how long is it going to take someone to get this okay so typically uh an x95 from order to delivery you're looking at about a year um, if you want to get more information on the X95, I encourage you to visit uh, Princess Yachts America, which is the uh, distributor uh, princess uh, for the USA. They're based out of here in Palm Beach. Uh, they have sub dealers all across the United States. Uh, but that is your point of contact in case you are interested and want more information on the X95 or any other model of Princess Yachts. And now I'm, I'm assuming that the range of pricing for something like this will fluctuate based on what the customer asks for. Correct. So based on specification and customer options, uh, this particular the model, the way it's uh, spec'd out for, you're looking at 13.9 million dollars. Okay, 13.9 million, which is a drop in the bucket for the people who are going to yeah, watch my course, video. Yeah, of course. You know that you stimulus tech uh, <laughs> will, will no, help a lot. No, listen, <laughs> trust me, it's a drop in the bucket for the people who watch my channel. I know who watches my channel. I see the analytics. So, okay. um, guys, you're the expert, uh, Alfred. Guys, uh, I want to thank the people here at Princess. Um, I have a couple of friends that are waiting out back. We got something going on in. Jamaica and we we're wondering if you wanted to go to Jamaica uh, we can we can discuss this off camera Maybe Alfred you know? always yes to Jamaica uh, okay guys <laughs> so Andrea is into Jamaica you know what's gonna happen next guys princess x95 amazingness that is what we do and uh, leave the keys up there I already got it sure I got the captain sure I got the captain <laughs> I got He's in. Scott, oh, yay. Scott is in. So there we go. There's more people coming. Okay. Hey, we're taking this to Jamaica later, so. Cheers, let's after, go. After the show, but we're, we might, we might, if we can't get the 95, we're going to go ahead and get the 78. I'm already got this all figured out. I have the keys to the 95, too. I think that the 95 was the right person to know. Can you drive it? I can drive it. Uh, listen. I need somebody to drive because I'm going to be sipping daiquiris <laughs> and I don't want to drive it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out of here. Hey, go ahead to the 95. Let's go.